Okay, what's up guys? We're gonna do a quick video today uh, with the Charmin S. If you wanna see my unboxing of it, go ahead and visit my channel and it should be the next video uh, before this one. So we're gonna just do a real quick run around the neighborhood and uh, just give you guys my impressions of uh, the maiden voyage of this uh, first ride here. That's what a maiden voyage is, right? Uh, on the Sherman S. So, like I had said in the unboxing, uh, the you know the pedal height's high, and the, the angle of the pedal is a little bit, I don't know, like maybe two degrees higher than I would like it to be. It doesn't seem like there's a way to adjust that. I think it's at its base value. Um, I am waiting on the E-Rides Sherman S pedal, uh, the one that has uh, the heel to toe. Uh, modifications on there so I'm interested in uh, showing you guys that so let's go let's go uh, everything is all stock too uh, the only thing I did was I disabled the tilt back on there it was already set at like 10 miles per hour so I disabled that within the wheel itself just like the Sherman regular Sherman pretty much the same menus uh, we're on strong mode and we didn't need to charge our wheel because our wheel was already like almost at 100%. <laughs> so thank you, Jason, again at E-Wheels. Uh, I kind of messed around with my pads to get it the way I want it to be for now. I might just buy some Clark pads, the same kind that's on my master because I'm not really a fan of this open design of these pads all that much. So you get the feel of the acceleration and braking on it. And the suspension feels a little bit bouncy. This is a little bit bouncy. So I'm gonna have to see if I can make it a little bit more firmer. Yeah, I don't even wanna test that out just quite yet. Uh, yeah, so we're just getting used to the wheel. You know, every new wheel is gonna feel weird at first until you get it down. You know, I remember my first ride with the Master, I was like, holy cow, stiff the whole time for the 20 miles that I rode with Claude that day. Claude and Jay, let's put some speed into this. Brake, accelerate, just a little bit, and brake. All right, I gotta get used to the braking. The braking is a little, not as powerful as a Master, but it's close kind of close of course the real test is you know braking the real test is is braking when you're going fast anyway it is windy out it's going to be raining all freaking week guys all right And this is a knobby tire. And it's a little suspicious if the wheel and the tire is seated. Because you remember I bitched about that all the time uh, on my Sherman. Not too bad, not too bad guys. Let's get you guys a behind shot. Stop at a stop sign, preferably, and then go. Now, I just got used to the master <laughs> coming back to it. So this feels just a little bit different. And I'll try not to say that again, by the way, because I tend to repeat myself over and over and over. Yes. Oh, a little bit of a pedal dip on long turns. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, not going too fast, like 16 miles per hour. But you get better by riding, so we're just gonna 
just go for it, you know? I got a car behind me, but that's fine. Don't like the wind, though. Okay, just gonna try to loosen up a little bit. Let's see how the turning is again. I like the bumper sticker on that guy's truck back there. You guys probably didn't see it, but it said, get fucked with an FKD. So I just got out of work about, I don't know, 45 minutes ago. And I was hoping to come out for this ride to get my impressions of my first ride. Uh, just like in the other video with the master, we're gonna take this on the sidewalk and see how that feels. Yeah, be careful, we don't want people turning in. But this will give me a good indication how the suspension is. What's up, buddy? People liking it already? People love it. They love it. Yeah, the suspension isn't too bad. Let me get my 360 camera out. There we go. Got practice the acceleration, braking. Yeah, we got some bounce. So I need to make the suspension stiffer. Do you guys got a, you guys have an idea how to fix that? It's, we got compression and rebound, or rebound and compression. One of those things. I haven't touched it, and I will touch it when we get to that point. Yeah, not too bad. You know, the, the, the ride characteristics is pretty similar to the Master. Master, you know, I said it before, but there's more power in the Master, obviously. So that's why I want to keep the Master. It might not be a long range wheel, and you can get decent range out of it. Don't get me wrong, it's not like a range hog, but for this here, I wanna take this and keep on going straight for a long period of time. Reach New Hampshire, which is probably about uh, 15 miles away from here. And then there's a lake I wanna reach, which is Lake Wilson. I shit you not, Lake Wilson. All right, let's, I gotta plan my attack here. Car behind me. Just like last time, guys. All right, got cars coming here. People are being nice. Stop right here. Okay, gotta fix my feet. Yeah. Yeah, definitely not a fan of these pads now, or the placement of them. Here we go. Wilson is complaining again. Why is he complaining again? Just shut up and enjoy the process. Enjoy the ride. So that's what we're gonna do. Back to the school again. Wow, just like the last video, last 360 video I made. Holy cow. I think we need to bring the pads back uh, forward a little bit in the back get a better contact point. So let's, let's go over here, kind of do something with that. We got 30 minutes for this video, guys, so let's make it good. Let's make it good. Let's, 
Let's fuck the fence. Already my feet are kind of cramping up on these pedals. Like I said, the angle. Too fucking high. Like it's closer to the wheel, you know what I mean? Okay. That's the last time I'm going to complain, for real. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we're going to take this on uh, the, the little trail that we go to. I'll try to get this wheel in the shot. More. Do, 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 do. Stop, go, stop. I mean, that's not stop. This is start and then stop. And then go. And then stop and then turn. Let's try, try some weaving. Just a little bit, just to play with the tire, play with it. My zipper's not down. <laughs> what would you do for a Klondike bar? What would you guys do for a Klondike bar? What would you do for a Klondike bar? I know what you guys would do for a Klondike bar. Now, I'm not going to attempt to sit on this yet. Not yet. I'm, again, I'm waiting for the E-Rides pedals, and I'm waiting for the soft pads that go on the side. Oh, there's an opportunity right there to try some trails. It's been a long time, been a long time. Look, I have no idea what this is. Looks like a landfill. Looks like a, a good place to set up a camp. for stealth camping. Again, check out whole Django's Outdoors on YouTube. She's riding the veteran Sherman. And the more people we get her to follow, the, the better I think her channel is gonna get and be noticed. She's a fast rider on that Sherman. She just hauls fucking ass. All right, here we go. Whoa. Welcome to the YMCA. We're going to the YMCA. We like to come here to get our dick sucks. So come on down to the YMCA. Yeah. I don't know where that came from, but sounds good to me. I don't know about you guys, but I like getting my dick sucked. I really, really fucking do. I like that better than sex, actually. Some off-road, little off-road action. Oh no, Wilson! Oh, you're getting extreme now. Extreme. Oh, here we go. We're getting a little ballsy with our accelerations. Just a little bit. Just loosening up a little bit. Trying to feel the dynamic of the wheel. I know there's a trail around here somewhere, and I keep missing it. Motherfucker. You know what? The trail was back there, but fuck it. Whatever. Whatever. I say, I say, dear. Whatever. Well, anyways. Uh, totally just spaced it. Oh, yeah. So, in the last video, I did say that I'm, I bought this wheel for future proofing. I want to elaborate on that. Future proofing. So maybe that's not the right term. The right term is I don't want to buy another wheel for a long time. And just the way things are now, we're getting wheels that come out each year that are expensive, like in the $4,000, $5,000 5, range. And this is four thousand dollars i'm not gonna lie that's a lot of money you can buy a used car with that now i'm trusting in leaper kim for you know in this wheel 
the range, everything from the range, uh, the top speed this thing can do. Uh, even though it's a 100 volt wheel, I'm trusting in the stats that the wheel performs pretty good at 100 volts. And I'm trusting that this is gonna get 100 miles of range. You know, if I'm going at this pace, probably, maybe like 70 um, on a, like if I'm going 25 miles per hour or something like that. But again, I'm just blabbing my mouth off. But I hope you guys know what I'm saying. I'm, I just don't wanna buy another wheel again. And I think I'm happy with just having these three, you know, having four wheels now. Uh, one of them I'm gonna sell, like the Sherman. I don't feel like I need the Sherman now, or do I? I, I don't know yet. Most likely I'm going to sell it because, you know, why? Why do I need, why do I need it? The Master, I need it. I love the Master, I love the speed of it. It's, to me, that's a predictable wheel. Here we go, here's some predictability. Woo! Yeah, we need to fix uh, compression and all that shit on here. And holding a selfie stick is not fun sometimes. Blowing all over the place. We're almost done with this video too, by, by the way, guys. So basically what I'm saying is, I want a wheel that I can keep for a long time. Therefore, future-proofing my EUC and future-proofing myself from not buying wheels. There we go. That's what we're trying to convince ourselves. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? I think this is the threshold. We've reached the threshold. For myself, this is what I need and what I want. I'm not a racer, so I don't need like the fastest wheel each year. But I can understand why some racers do. I can understand why people want to buy the Masters and uh, the Monster Pros for the long ranges and the M10s or the Nicolas just for short commutes. You know, for every situation, there's a good wheel. Um, August Hill said it best in his recent video. If you haven't seen the True to One documentary, guys, go ahead and check that out. That is some awesome filmmaking. Um, it ranks right up there along with EVX and his film quality. Very good film quality in that video. Uh, very good interviews. I learned a lot about a lot of the writers. I like the, the, the message they have, it's pretty neat. So, I'm just gonna get used to the turning here. All right, we're gonna go up the hill. Go up the hill. Oh, speaking of hills, let's see if it's gonna be good going uphill. Not bad, not bad. You can just feel it gliding. All right. Take a turn, I'm turning down this way. Been a long time, been a long time. Turn, 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 turn. Oh yeah. Yeah, so future proofing, that's what I meant to say in my video, you know, future proofing my purchases. No more purchases. I gotta have some self-control now, man. Because I know it's gonna happen. Next year, we're gonna have a $5,000 wheel. The year after that, it's gonna be a $6,000 wheel. If you guys keep buying it, they're gonna keep making it. All right, gotta watch out up here. I could have. Let's go up here. Okay. 